Okay, hi y'all. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my really quick mom makeup fresh face. Really easy. I've been kind of rediscovering some old favorites. So I want to show you. It's a powder foundation routine that I love so much. It's so easy. So let's just get into it. This is not technically the makeup that I do every day. I do, if I have the time to do my makeup, I like to just do whatever I want because my makeup is my me time. This is something that I will do on the days where I don't really have time, but I want to put myself together, feel really put together, feel really confident and good in a very short amount of time. So that is this, this look right here. Also, this is something I can do in the car. This is something I can do really, really fast, like in basically any bathroom with any lighting. So let's do this. First, I'm going to prime with the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. I really, really like this, especially with powder foundation, which we are going to use today. I've already washed my face and put my hair back and changed my clothes for the day. That is normally something I'll do first thing in the morning. And then whenever my son goes down for his nap, that's when I will like play with makeup. Or if we have something to do before that and I want to be put together, like I said earlier, I will do it like right after, right when I'm getting ready with everything else. My new rediscovered faves are the Bare Minerals powders, the original powder foundation and the wake up concealer. Since right now I do have some tan, it's the summer, I've been going to the beach, going to the river, I do have a tan to me. My color in the um, original powder foundation is Neutral Ivory 6 and since there's only one shade of the Well Rested Concealer, that's the one I'm using today, it's really, really bright. When I am tan, it's like too bright. So. I will put it on first. You'll see what I do. I basically put it on first and then blend a little bit of my foundation over it to like tone it down. I do have a Bare Minerals brush, but you can use any like flat brush like this because the other brushes I use for this t um, routine are not Bare Minerals brushes and they work just fine. I just really like to pack it on that well rested powder like right where my bags are the worst basically like right under my eye and in this dark inner corner pack that on pack it pack it pack it okay looking a little crazy and then I take the real techniques this is technically the contour brush but I just like the size of it get a little bit of that on and then basically like blend it Blend the edges and like put some on my lid. Like basically bring it down into that normal like V check mark type shape that you would do with other concealers. And I'm going to take the original powder foundation and um this is very dewy. The original is very dewy. They also have a matte version if you have more oily skin or you just don't like to be shiny. And then I'm just going to start buffing it in. It honestly might be a, a little bit light still. I'm very tan right now. We've been spending so much time outside. And I do put on sunscreen and I still get some color in my skin so yep might be a little bit light but that's okay I also really like this shape because you can kind of get like in that under eye area like really easily just kind of blend over Just make sure it's not too much of like a crazy difference. <clears throat> oh wow, that is like, like two or three shades too light. Okay, I've been getting a lot of sun. Our weather right now in Texas is so crazy too. Like 
this whole week that I've been sick, it's also been pouring rain. But like just last week, we were at the beach and it was hot, sunny, not a cloud in sight. It's crazy. That's the foundation and concealer done. And now we're gonna move on to the face. I've been using lots of multi-face palettes, if that makes sense, or like multi-use palettes. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm kind of obsessed with them right now. I honestly just bought another one. I just got this guy, the new Benefit Foroscope. It is freaking gorgeous, so I could not pass it up. It is a bronzer, a highlight, and two blushes. I think I'm gonna use this one today, but I do have literally all these right here. And that is why I put myself on a no buy because I'm just obsessed with them right now and I keep buying them. But I think I'm gonna do a video all on my favorites because I've actually kind of decluttered and only put out the ones that I absolutely love. I've really narrowed it down for the ones that I love and why. So I think I'm actually gonna do a specific video about them very soon like my favorite multi-use palettes that i own so we're gonna go in with the bronzer first so this one has the classic hula bronzer in it it has the georgia blush the cookie highlight that everyone's obsessed with and it has an exclusive blush to this palette called honeymoon and yeah it, there it comes in three colorways i got the earth sign one really just because it was the most appealing to me but i'm also an earth sign so it totally fits love that for me so hula bronzer everywhere i'm probably also going to kind of drag it onto the jawline a little bit just to make my face actually match my neck because i am like two or three shades too light at the moment this is such a good good a good little palette like i love the hula products or i mean the benefit products um and actually funny thing I don't think I've really bought Benefit or Bare Minerals for like a long time, like five years. This is the stuff that basically when I was in high school and college, I would splurge on. I think I've mentioned this in other videos, but my parents didn't buy me makeup or anything when I was in high school. So any high school job or college job that I had, um, you know, obviously was minimum wage. So I was buying mostly drugstore. And then the things that I would splurge on was actually Benefit products, like the Benefit brow products, Hoola, all those little box blushes and bronzers. And I also used Bare Minerals when I, I had a Bare Minerals eyeshadow quad that I absolutely loved in high school, probably because it was like my only more expensive thing that I owned. So I was just like, I have to use it every day. I spent like $40 on it. Um... Okay, going in with Cookie Highlight. Ooh, it's very bright. Very bright highlight for me when I'm this tan, so I'm using it sparingly. So honestly, this is taking me back. So if you're a high schooler and you wanna splurge, this is what I splurged on in high school. And I always thought it was worth it. I also um, would splurge on the Urban Decay setting spray when I was in high school. I remember that very specifically. The all-nighter, gotta love it. Okay, now I'm going in with Honeymoon. And I only put the highlight on the top of my cheeks because one, it's way faster, and two, you can already see how this foundation is very, very dewy. And I did not put on a dewy primer or anything. This foundation has all of that glow except for right here. So that is another reason why I think it's a lot faster because I don't have to spend hardly any time like building up oh that blush is strong whoo i don't have to spend hardly any time like building up a glow or using a primer and a foundation and a setting powder that all add glow to my skin the bare minerals foundation is like a one and done coverage glow long wear everything so and you know what i'm gonna be kind of weird and i'm gonna take the georgia blush because it has a little bit more of an orangey tinge to it peachy glow and that's what I'm gonna hit my that's what I'm gonna hit the forehead with that's how I'm gonna quickly add even more glow great <laughs> just gonna be a shiny mess cool okay so that is face done beautiful and the reason I like these multi-use palettes for this 
for the look like this is here we go bronzer with the eyeshadow brush and we're gonna hit the lid just kind of like messily hit that crease to give you some definition and then I'm gonna like connect the bronzer and it gives you that really snatched look but it looks so effortless and it's like you just look contoured and nobody can tell why but you know why hit the under okay and then we're gonna take a highlighting brush and that cookie highlight hit the inner corner ooh yes and dippy dippy touch on the brow bone another crazy new favorite like I honestly don't think I've ever liked a brow product this much it is the pixie natural brow duo it is a gel and a pencil all in one a retractable pencil it's one of those angled ones so if you don't like that that's kind of a bummer but this is like a tinted brow gel can't really see that it's a combination of the product being so good and also finally a color that actually matches me extremely well i have usually tried to go with neutral browns dark browns brunette but they either end up being way too warm or too light or a combination of both so i'm just gonna run that brow gel through my hair and then just while that is i'm waiting for that to like dry and set a little bit i'm also going to use the revolution sport fix basically just so everything's drying at the same time if that makes sense um i'm in the shade soft black now i don't have black hair i i know it looks black probably right now because it's just pulled down really tight but i actually do have just really dark brown and very neutral hair like a very neutral chocolate dark brown so when i have my hair grown out like this and i have a brow color that's too warm it looks so freaking weird like it just looks so weird and a lot of the time it's also way too light so finding this soft black color has finally given me a color that looks really good and really natural and it's so good the brow gel is really good and the pencil part is very good as well and it makes for a super quick brow one product get everything in it's amazing now i'm just going to fill in the tail and kind of help out the arch of my brow You barely have to touch down to like, you can use the lightest pressure in your hand and still get the perfect amount of product to lay down. I hate those products where you feel like you have to really press hard and then you're kind of uplifting your, your foundation and stuff around your brow. It's so annoying. This just glides right on. It's so good. It is so good. Okay, perfect. That's so pretty right there. So it just kind of fills in the tail, evens everything out, makes them look a little bit more symmetrical. And then I'm going to put on mascara. Usually what I've been doing is curling my eyelashes and then I go in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist and then the Lash Princess on top of it from Essence. Just gives me enough volume and length. I have the crappiest lashes of all time. Ugh, imagine how much faster that would go too if you have lash extensions like do the face really quick throw on brows and a lip and you're done like so easy so one thing i do like to do with this look i'll pop up a picture this look is so easy to make extra glam because if you just pop on a bright lip especially during the summer if you just pop on a bright lip you look like you have done like a full face like you're super glam and ready to go so the other day i did this exact look with the color vixen from elf their i think it's called red vixen from their matte liquid lipstick line looks amazing i got so many compliments and literally i just threw that face on and i went to home depot and like bought a bunch of paint and then came home and painted the house but i looked fab doing it and i loved it and it ha took no time at all today i think i'm gonna do a neutral more neutral look i don't know what do i want to do because you could just pop on a hot pink pop on a red pop on a like any color honestly you could, you wear blue lipstick with this if you wanted to i don't know if you guys are tired of seeing these but i do really like these elf sheer lipsticks so i have grapefruit 
Cherry Slush and Orange Crush. Let's do Orange Crush. Why not? I'm gonna throw in a little lip liner. Probably 09, yep, 09 Spice from, actually, you know what? Y'all are probably tired of seeing that. Let's put on this Wet n Wild. What is this? Wet n Wild. Lay down the mobs. Lip liner. And you don't have to even put a lip liner. I feel like I have to, otherwise my lips get lost in translation. Blend it a bit. Cool. Elf Sheer Lipstick in Orange Crush. Orange Crush. Mm, I love these. So that is my newest rendition of my mom face, my quick mom get ready with me situation whatever you want to call it that is what i do it's just a quick 10 minutes routine that i can add any time in my day to make myself look and feel more put together so i would just throw on my jewelry i'm staying home today i think for the most part as far as i know um so i'm not gonna wear my jewelry because my son just yanks at it the necklaces and the earrings he pulls them off so no jewelry for me today. I am ready for the day. Looking good to stay home and take care of my baby. Thank you so much. Okay, so my Instagram and my TikTok will be down below. And I'll also list everything that I used on my face just in case you are curious about a specific product. Yeah, more videos coming soon. I don't think I have anything else to say. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye. I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a